Hello, so I thought uh, after having this uh, toolbox for six months and the video being fairly popular, it seems like they're still selling these toolboxes. I do a follow up on the ownership of it. So uh, it's generally has been sitting in this location since I bought it. Like it used to be on this wall here, but uh, the roof is leaking, so I had uh, to move it over here. But generally, uh, because of the wheels on the bottom of it, it's not very mobile. You have uh, to park it in a funny way because the uh, they're not casters in the center section. So you kind of have to do like a long parallel park to fit it in a hole. If you had a pallet jack or something, you could move it around quite a bit easier. So that's uh, one of the drawbacks. I'll try to say like generally I'm over I'm happy with the toolbox but so I'm only going to be pointing out the uh, problems for the most part or anything that I thought was uh, beneficial as a uh, result of purchasing it so I'll take a look at this toolbox here and one thing I found with Husky is that they don't make their toolboxes all in the same place or they don't have the same person designing them because uh, this toolbox is a cheap little thing that I bought just for uh, putting my welder on it and there's a couple of things I like about it. So for one, the key on the top and the bottom is keyed the same. Like this is a, a one part toolbox. It's not that you could uh, separate it at the middle, but the key here and the key down there are the same. And the other nice thing about this key is it's more like a, a more modern car key where it doesn't matter if you have the key upside down or backwards or whatever. Like if you remember a car from the eighties and you jump in try to put in your key it won't fit you got to turn the key over and try again and start it well, this key system doesn't have that issue so uh, when we look at the keys for the uh, the bigger toolbox it's this style here and uh, so you got to get it turned the right way and they're different keys so you can see I have a, a B and a T that I stamped into these keys so that I could uh, open it quickly and you should stamp them the same way so that you remember if it needs to be facing up or facing down to open the key or open the lock like I said it's a bit of a hassle so I'm not super happy about that and uh, but other than that I think it's been good so we talk about the wheels and the keys and I guess the last annoying issue with this is that sometimes you got to try a couple times in order to get it to lock. There's a lot of drawers on this and to lock the key you need to uh, make sure that they're all closed. So I don't even remember how to open it. So then you go to lock it. It just kind of closed on itself, right? Sometimes it doesn't work. You have to go through and push them all in to get it to unlock. So that's one drawback. Like if you're an industrial facility, you might have a better toolbox than this, but say you didn't, you'd probably just put a bar across it rather than using these uh, keys. So I think I gave a, a toolbox tour the first time uh, I uh, did the video. And again, it's cold again, so the uh, struts are kind of slow. I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with them. It's just it's below freezing right now, so the oil's pretty thick. And I guess you wouldn't be able to see me opening it anyway. Sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, I have to push it open to get it up all the way. So I haven't really figured out how to use the uh, top space other than to put kind of large bark bulky tools in it. I added a, uh, a towel holder on it, which doesn't really work because it kind of It'll pop off if you're too rough with it. So maybe I'll put some tech screws through that to hold it on. It's just a magnet right now. Got tools hanging off of the outside of it. It's not enough space. So I got some of my more high-end tools up here. And some screwdrivers. And there wasn't really enough space. Maybe we'll try to move it and see how that goes. Because I had... Uh, put most of my screwdrivers on the outside in order to uh, get everything organized. So let's see if I can get it to move. Plug it. Yeah, so I got the wheels pointed all the right way, but when I want to push it the other direction, 
afterwards. It's probably going to fight me. So I've put some more trays uh, on the outside here for screwdrivers and chisels and stuff like that, uh, low dollar stuff. I'm the only person that uses this garage, but at the same time, I like to keep it locked as like a last line of defense because this thing is so heavy, it'd be pretty hard pressed to carry it away. So if it's all together, they can't really do that. So one trick to do would be to run tech screws from the top half into the bottom half so that if someone was going to try and steal it, they couldn't slide half of it off into a toolbox because right now it's just sitting on top because there's a, quite a, a fair dollar value in there. So that would be one thing to consider that the top is not rigidly mounted as it comes, but you can just open the drawers and uh, deal with that. So I think I showed you, I got like an electrical and measuring department up here, which is horribly disorganized. And as I pick up new stuff, I just throw it in. I'm not trying to make money when I work on things, so it's not all that organized necessarily. If I was going to try to make money, I'd have a smaller toolbox, like for the main stuff that I could bring to the car, because you couldn't move this around very readily. wrench department. So you got gear wrenches and uh, conventional wrenches there. I went to a pawn shop and they had like all these wrenches for 10 cents a piece or something. Oop. So I uh, went through and grabbed all of the uh, double box and wrenches. It was kind of funny because there's actually two pawn shops up the road from each other and between the two of them I was able to get a full set. Somebody had, I don't know if they worked together or how it happened, but the uh, Ranches were mixed up between the two pawn shops. That's like the clubbing department. It's got lots of hammers and body tools in there. Clamp department. You could put them all on the wall if you wanted to. A lot of people do that. Drilling department and filing department. Keep uh, a couple ratchet sets in here sometimes. They're not in right now. And I need to grab this. Gotta do a job. I don't wanna forget this one here. Gotta do that in another town. So that's my uh, socket sets and whatnot. Three quarter inch drive stuff. And you can see kind of what's in there. And the uh, grinding department. And I got a leak down tester. Saws all in there and stuff like that. Random odds and ends. And I didn't open the, the last compartment here. It's got all of my special tools for the most part. I've got some more at uh, my house. So this is a my B key. So this and this at least are keyed the same. Sorry, the, from here to here. So I just kind of got them all nestled in there as best I can. If I need to get something out, it can be difficult depending on the uh, the size of it. I might, I'd have to take a bunch of stuff out. But you don't use them all the time, but I generally buy my special tools instead of borrowing them from the store. I find that way. If I'm going to take my time on a job, at least I don't need to go back and forth a couple times with the tools. So I guess we'll... Uh, try to roll this thing back into position and see how it goes and we'll pretty much uh, wrap it up at that. That wasn't too bad. But you can imagine if you've got the wheels here in the middle that don't turn it's significantly harder to move than a, a forklift, right? It might, a forklift might steer backwards, but this thing pivots in the center. So it can, uh, you need a bit of space in order to get it into its uh, home. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video informative as well as the first uh, video that I got. I still have lots of cardboard left over from when I bought these. 
And that's kind of handy if you're working on the ground. So that's why I kept that so I can get it dirty instead of getting myself dirty. So again, uh, thank you for watching.